Can't eat those, Alice. Didn't mean to startle you. We all need to get away from the smell of that place sometimes, don't we? Those for medicinal purposes. I've been meaning to pay you a visit. We've missed you and your mother at prayer recently. All is well, I trust. During these troubling times, it's more important than ever that we maintain our faith in the Lord. Always a pleasure, Alice.
trying to warn you, Aaron. You know the law. I still can't help. She was only doing my bidding. May the Lord have mercy on your soul.
I wanted to offer you my apologies for what happened. I understand why you concealed your mother's condition. But I hope you understand why I... why we could not allow it to continue. The cleanser wanted to hold you to account for your actions, but I convinced him that you're young and that your emotions got the better of you. We've all been affected by these tragic times. But if we're to see our way through, we must maintain our faith in the Lord and our faith in one another. We need to support each other and come together as a community. It's more important now than ever before. You can't stay here alone, Alice. It's not safe. A woman of your age should have a man to look after her well-being. I want to offer you a place in my home. By my side. If the Lord has seen fit to spare you and I, who are we to turn our back on his wishes? Will you not even deign to speak with me out of anger? Ungrateful wretch. You'll be begging for my kindness soon enough. I assure you. Beware! A devil has possessed that one! Thank you all for coming. I know some of you would prefer not to meet like this, but in light of tragic recent losses, it's clear that avoiding each other is not the answer. We've lost our farmers, hunters, doctor, blacksmith. You've all lost family. Our way of life is hanging on the precipice if the plague doesn't take us, then starvation surely will. We must be united both in our prayer and in our cause. The Lord does have a plan for us and we must not lose... Kansas faith. said the worst was behind us. He said cases were in the decline. Six more this week. And who knows who'll be next? He assures me that other towns have seen a drop... Whatever in he's doing here, it isn't working. Not people keeping their symptoms secret. Where is Alice, Thomas? She broke the law and now my Richard is dead. Why is she not here being held to account? Is it because you harbour affections for her? Of course not. 
She's not present because I wanted to discuss the matter with you all first. I know what you think. But you have me wrong. It is my belief that there is something wrong with the girl. Her silence is one thing. And then again, there is her wicked demeanor. I. Shinayon spat at me this morning. Her family have always meddled with the unnatural. Her father was a doctor. A good man. He's helped many of you in his day. And yet he died in circumstances most unusual. Upon reflection, I cannot help but wonder whether this cursed plague may not have begun with him. Her parents both perished, yet she remains unaffected. Perhaps it was their meddling with the unholy that was the cause of all this. She's just a child. Yes. The only youth left. We know all too well that the young were the first to succumb, and yet again, she lives on. She's probably the cause of it all. Bewitched by the devil to lay a curse upon this land. These accusations are baseless. Then let us speak her defense. If she has strayed from the light, and we shall soon uncover it. The cleanser will make her talk. No. No, it will be too long before he next returns. We cannot afford to wait. And what do you propose we do? If she is indeed bewitched, it is my belief that I can obtain a confession from her. I will give her fair opportunity to make her case she will be tried and tested under the eyes of God and in accordance with the law. You have my word. We must root out evil wherever it resides and whatever form it takes. I ask you all to pray for her soul that we may cleanse it on the morrow. for bringing her to us without incident. Tom, I, I thought we would discuss this in a civil manner. We will. Come, sit. Come. This is the Lord's Prayer. I want you to read it aloud without stutter or hesitation. Read it. The Lord's Prayer ought to be in the hearts and minds of every good Christian soul. It is said that under the eyes of God, the truly holy will read the prayer unfaltering. If you falter, as we will know that your heart and mind have been occupied by something other. We will know that you have been touched by the devil. Tom. Quiet. Just read the words, Alice. Let us hear your voice that we may know what resides inside. Just read it, child. Must you make it so hard on yourself? 
also hard and sore. There are other ways of determining allegiance to the devil. But I am afraid you will find them far more uncomfortable. We have no choice but to search you for the devil's mark. By the devil, he leaves his mark. Just read the prayer, child. You can speak. I know you can. It's too late for that now. Take down her garments. Thomas, please. Get out. Leave us for a moment, please. We found no marks, Alice. Nothing that would give me reason to believe you were a witch. Whether that is enough to establish your innocence is up to you. I can protect you from the others. I can make this stop right now. All you have to do is give yourself to me. Do that. And I will tell the others. My investigation was satisfied and your innocence established. If you do not agree to these terms, I will have no choice but to proceed with the trial. So what will it be? <coughs> Conduct a trial by water. <laughs> Confess, speak the Lord's prayer, and cleanse your wicked soul. Release the devil within you. Speak, in the name of God! Speak, child! Oh, <laughs> 
If you wish to die here today, speak, girl. It is your only hope of salvation. The devil has her tongue, Thomas. Drown her. It's the only way to lift the curse. Alice, do you have any words? This isn't working. Keep her under. I shall do as I see fit. One hour. Tom! Do not look upon her. But she's using her female form to elicit your sympathies. Evil thrives on the compassion of the merciful. Bring her back to the village. Wait! You stop now? She's feigning defeat, you know, a witch can't be trusted. She killed my husband. Put her back in. Death is no less than she deserves. If we merely kill her, there is no certainty the curse will be lifted. She must speak the words. Clearly water has been ineffective. So we will have to use fire instead. So what do we do now? She shall be required to hold a stone of hot flame until her hands are scorched. A witch, in league with the devil, will heal with an unnatural speed, such as the power he grants his unholy servant. This is madness. Where did you hear of such things? Do not question me, or I may question why you are so keen to defend this girl. For three days she shall be detained and observe. If her wounds appear uncommonly healed by the end of that time, we shall know for certain that she is a witch. She may hold her silence, but the body will reveal the truth. This is your last chance, Alice. Say the word, and I will place the Bible in your hand instead of the stone. But you must confess now before it is too late. is all I have to wait to get justice for my wretched. Unless you choose to confess, of course. I've been waiting for you to confess all day, but now, looking at you up there, I've changed my mind. Keep your mouth shut, I say. Mull it over for a few more days, and then let us hang you. That's it.
It didn't have to be like this. You have made it so. I recall when you and your parents first moved here. You were only a child then. Always running around, interrupting my sermons. Couldn't shut you up back then. There were those that complained of your free-spiritedness. Not me. I thought you were a little angel. You blossom now. Quite the beauty to behold. But something has gone rotten inside you. A rot that has spread to everyone and everything else. There's only one way to deal with rot. Cut it out and dispose of it. How? Who's on watch? Mary. She claims... She claims to go for witch death. I'll deal with her afterward. We must gather a search party. She can't have gone far. You want to bring her back? She's gone. That's what we wanted, isn't it? It didn't survive long enough then. I wasn't fooled. The shelter? We don't know what she's capable of, Walter. 
the trial was not completed. She bewitched Mary. Is that not proof enough? Do you really believe that? I don't know. But she's gone. And we should take that as a blessing. Well, count our blessings when the curse has been lifted. Finding her is the only way to be certain. Are you hungry? You won't be able to run yet. I'd eat instead. Venison.
I'm sorry about before. I have a lot here I need to protect. Do you speak? You must be thirsty. There's water by the fire. That means she must be far from here. I think we should be thankful. She will survive long out there. Long? Yeah. He's going to return to normal now, soon enough. She will dare come back. Let the cleanser look for her if he so wishes. She's his responsibility now. We just left with Mary to deal with. What have you done with her? Are you staying or going? The door must close either way. I won't hurt you, girl. Have no fear. valuable. Are you interested in such things? The smoke from this root will open your eyes to what's inside your heart. Fears, desires, they can manifest, but you must remember they are not real. Does such talk frighten you? What you see could be guidance or a warning. Some say they are messages from the cons. Slow. It is very strong. You must grow accustomed to it slowly. evil should come upon us, the sword or judgment or pestilence or famine, we will stand before this house and before you, for your name is in this house.
will boil your insides. It must be kept away from water. These are my most treasured possessions. I apologize if my ways seem strange. I don't keep much company these days. I'd like to take another look at your hands. Did you apply the garlic and bandages yourself before? You have a knowledge of medicine. I have always been fascinated by nature's secrets. How the simplest of ingredients can create not only medicine, but also weapons. When I was a young man, I, I traveled far, far from here to a land where the, the sun shone so brightly that it turned the earth into sand. The people speak in tongues and have the most strange customs. I worked on a ship with my father, trading in wool and spices, but trade can often lead to conflict with the local chieftains. It was during one such conflict that I was introduced to that white powder, which you saw before. It was thrown in little clay pots from one ship to another. And when it came into contact with water, it reacted so ferociously that it would burn through wood, metal, and flesh. The floating dust would blind or choke those who inhaled it. When the wind changed, the men wielding the powder would sometimes kill themselves as often as they'd kill our men. It was an horrific sight. And yet, to the eyes of a boy at the time, it was like watching magic. Over the years since, I have learned much about the creation of compounds, such as that one. And on my return to this land, and as the plague arrived, I turned my attention to medicine. I had a daughter, not much younger than you. I had hoped I might find a cure for her, but I wasn't quick enough. I don't think I will ever find a cure now. The devil is responsible for this curse. God could not create something so cruel.
You intend to steal from me. Is that it? You can return from where you came if you cannot be trusted. What? Were you planning to sell them? No. I want to find a cure to... Teach me about all this. What else have you got? Why are you here? I'm a trader from the east. Trading in what? Wool, furs, silver, many things. What happened to you? My horse bolted and I fell. All of my clothes and my possessions went with it. Well, we've no need for a tradesman here. So you can be on your way once you've finished. May I not rest a while? I feel weak to my bones. <laughs> you seem strong enough to me. One night. No. There's barely room for the two of us. Hey. I must apologize for striking you. I had not eaten in days. I'm afraid my mind is on my own. And I'm sorry if I frightened you. 
Are you family? Yes. I'm her father. So you speak to me and not heard, you understand? Of course, I'm sorry. I meant no offense. I truly am grateful for your kindness. Had I not found you, I'm certain I'd have died out there in the forest. If I may ask for a short time to rest, I will be on my way in a few hours. I was wondering, are you able to speak? Ah, oh, but you choose not to. Good for you. Very wise. I've talked myself out of some spots over the years, but it is likely I would be far away from here and far better off if I'd learned to keep my mouth shut. Believe me. How do you propose to make a living as a tradesman who doesn't speak? Trade is a language all of its own, as I'm sure you know from your travels. And where have you traveled? You must have stories to tell. Perhaps tomorrow. I'm very tired. I should like to settle down before the fire dies. Thank you both for the blanket and your hospitality. I hope I can repay you someday. That'll do. What? Time to go. Go? Yes. You've rested, and now you must leave. Here. Some clothes. Thank you. Is there any way I can convince you to let me stay a little longer? I'm a hard worker. I'm sure you are. But I'm afraid that's impossible. Now, I can take you to the nearest village. Bastard. <laughs> you bring that here, and you try and worm your way under my roof. You stay back! He's infected. No, I'm not. You carry the mark. What does this mean? It means you must leave. Am I going to die? Yes, you are going to die. We can't save him, and I won't allow him to infect you. So that's it? Don't make me ask you again. Every minute you stay here puts us at risk. Oh, I'm going to escort you away from here, and you must never come back. I'll go, I swear it. No. That's not good enough for me. Move it. Stay inside!
Why do you remain silent? We both know you can speak. So why do you choose not to? You can't hide from your demons forever. What? I'm not hiding here. I face my demons every day. You know nothing about it. I have it too. I should have told you sooner. I'm sorry. I have put you at risk being here. I have been selfish and reckless, but if you were going to catch it, you would have by now. Some people seem to be immune. If you want to go, I understand. I've tried curing myself. But my time is running short. My time is almost up. But it's not for you. You must face that to whatever it is that is holding you back. And I can help you. Burning the root has a mild effect, but if you eat it, the effect is much stronger. Time and place will become fluid. You will embark on a journey which only you can take. In there, you will find the truth and you must face it. Not everybody who takes the journey returns the same. I will be waiting for you upon your return. Who's there? Who is it? Tells me you have found the cause of the plague. 
One of the villagers. She was a witch. We've dealt with her now. No cases have been uncovered here since. I wanted to consult with you first, but time was of the essence. And found guilty in full accordance with the law. Her soul was cleansed with water and fire. She escaped. She bewitched one of the other villagers and fled into the forest. It was nothing we could have prepared for. As long as she lives, the plague will continue to spread. I mounted a search party. But we were unable to find her. The others were glad to be rid of her and didn't feel that further pursuit was worthwhile. Free to roam the land. She's only young, wounded. I doubt she's lasted till now. I will deal with her myself. Wait! What about Mary, her accomplice? Do what needs to be done. sent to your cuts and bruises since you were old enough to stand. Isn't it time you stop running? Praying at this time. It's climbing by the waterfall, Anna. Why can't you just behave like the other children? It's a miracle that you're still alive. It's not a miracle, Father. The woman pulled me out. Hmm. I don't know. She came from under the waterfall. There is no woman under the waterfall. I will hear no more of this nonsense. It's not nonsense. Would you give me this? Throw it in the fire. 
threw it in the fire. You will never speak of this again, do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, Father. As from now, I forbid you to leave this village. What? You will remain in my sight at all times. Look, I'll be more careful. No, never again. You cannot be trusted. I hate you. It is for your own safety. I hate you. No, you don't. I hate you. That's enough. I hate you. No, silence. I want you to die.
I know what you are. You're a witch. You curse my daughter. You curse the whole village. and now you're trying to curse me. Don't speak! You utter one word and I will kill you right now. I will not have you trying to bewitch me. I know that you twisted the mind of that poor woman that set you loose. She's paying the price for that now. Don't pay the innocent! Was any of this real to you? Oh, friendship. Or were you just trying to twist my mind? my home. It's the only thing I had left that wasn't stained with blood and now that's gone too. You killed my mother. I was trying to save her. And you took away my chance to. That master. I saw what you did to him. I know why you did it. It's your job to uphold the law. I can't forgive what you've done. But I'm willing to accept who you are. Could you not accept me for who I am too? You were like the snake of Eden. I can't believe a single word that comes out of your mouth. What would it take to show you I'm true? Lift the curse. I can't. I'm sorry. You can't or you won't. I can't! You liar! You are the devil himself. Please! Devil! Devil! For even the devil disguises himself as an angel of the light.
going on? What's burning? We don't know. The houses are all fine. <coughs> Stinks. It's coming from the forest. Go to your house and lock the door. Go! Any sign of her? No sign. Look. I've been seeing other things. Like what? Jeez. Rolling on the branch. <laughs> what? What's wrong? I just stop! Stop what? 
Turn to this madness, please. I never meant for any of this to happen. You did. I sinned. I know that. We are both sinners. But that does not mean we are beyond salvation. Cut me down, and we can pray for our souls together. Your words are meaningless. For we are right about you. You truly are bewitched by the devil. The devil didn't make me what I am. You did. Then speak the words. If what you say is true, prove it. Speak the words. Very well. If it's proof you want, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. But forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. Do not lead us to the time of trial. Rescue us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
kill you knew was gone. No. You've come back. <laughs>